name's Laurie, and welcome to CyberOnTheWire.com. Hello, and today I'm going to talk to you about CSSP flashcards, why you need them. So what I'm going to tell you, I'm going to cover why you need flashcards, how to write them, and how to use the flashcards, as well as how to get hold of mine. So why do you need CISSP flashcards? Well, crucially, they're part of the smart study process, particularly in supporting your revision. They force recall. So rather than when you're just reading notes or reading a book, you're just glancing your eyes over the page, you may not be taking that much in. When you look at that question on the front of that flashcard, that's forcing your mind to recall the information that should already be in there. If that doesn't happen, then you're moving on to the highlight weaknesses. So that shows you it's pointing you towards an area of weakness that you can address before you sit down in that exam room. They're also flexible, so you can mix them around, you can drop in and out any different part you want, shuffle them up. And also, they're supported by studies of learning. You can do your own research online about flashcards and you'll find a number of different studies that have been done at universities where they've recommended the use of flashcards in the learning process. In terms of how to write them, obviously you're looking to distill facts from the materials that you're reading, similar as how you would uh, write notes. Those facts need to be testable, so if you're looking at a particular fact that you've picked out of the, the page, try and ask yourself, how could I form a question, an exam question, around this fact that I'm reading? The easier that that is to do, in my opinion, the more likely it is that that will appear in your test. And don't bother with facts that you find easy to remember. For example, I never wrote a flashcard that covered the CIA triad, confidentiality, integrity and availability, because I knew that's something I would never ever forget. So don't waste your time recording and revising facts that you don't struggle to remember in the first place. In terms of how to use the flashcards, leave them till the revision phase. Use them to signpost those weak areas that you can then revisit before you walk into the exam. You can arrange them based on success rate. So if there are some that you're getting right all the time and others that you're struggling with, concentrate on those areas that you're weaker on and keep going over them. So while I was in my revision phase, I went over them every single day up until the day before the exam. Keep that information fresh and avoid the fade that will inevitably happen when you stop going over that material. I'm going to tell you very quickly how to get hold of my flashcards. So I self-studied for the CISSP exam and I was fortunate in that I passed first time. In the process I generated over 550 flashcards and that was the smallest number I could get. I only wanted to record things that I thought were crucial. If you want to get hold of those flashcards you can go to cyberonthewire.com forward slash resources or click on the link below. Thanks for watching.